quarter after five. It's up to 87 degrees right now. Sun comes across the fields and I'm down at the second yard and it's over here to my right. Um, this, these four hives get sun in the afternoon. This hive is known to be a little bit testy, hence the reason I put my veil back on. I went in and cooled off a little bit, got myself a drink, a little something to eat. Now I'm going to check this hive and see what's going on. Um, a lot of activity out of these hives, all four of them. Although I don't think that they're uh, really well suited for winter. I think some of them are a little lightweight, so we're going to find out. Feeder is empty, that's good. That means they ate what food I gave to them last time. Small hive beetles up in the top. I do not see a ton of bees up in the top of the box. Let's see what we have going on here. I'm going to go get frame number three. I have a lot of bees looking at me. Just going to give them a little smoke, chase them back down. Immediately one inspecting me. That's what I said about this hive. It tends to be a little fussy. So they got nothing here. It's not even nectar on the frame. Maybe little tiny bits of nectar, but that's about the extent of it. And I feel like this frame is, or this hive is a little light. Even though I've been feeding it a little bit, I'm going to have to really feed it, feed it. Now this frame's full of nectar. That's not too bad. This frame is super heavy, totally loaded with nectar. None of it's capped, but most of it's mature. I mean, you could kind of look at a, at a, a frame and tell by looking at it how glassy it looks as to whether or not the nectar is uh, old or fresh. And in this case, I think it's pretty good shape, uh, those middle frames. So they'll build a honey dome up here if I keep feeding them two to one. Now I'm going to go a little deeper into this hive and see what's down below. Now this hive was a mid, this hive was a midsummer split, so it was one box. I gave them this second box not too long ago, which explains why there's not a lot of resources in it. This had apivar because the colony from the split was treated, and then I gave them the second box. It has no apivar. There's no brood up there, but I'm going to pull this apivar because it's at the end of the period. These frames are really wedged in here.
This is an old brood frame. Most of the brood is emerged. No signs of eggs or larva. about the fourth time I've dropped my smoker. Completely loaded end to end with capped larva. Both frames. That's a promissory note that there's plenty of bees coming in the future. See how the next frame looks? I'm suspecting it'll be similar, and it is. Not as nice, but not terrible. This one is nectar and pollen. Complete side full of nectar and pollen on frame number six. Gonna go get number five. Quick scan for the queen. This is brood in all stages. This would be a good frame to take a mite sample from. So I'm going to look for my queen, make sure she's not here. This is all nurse bees. Let me see if I can show you this. It's cap brood over in this corner. Over through here is all eggs and larvae. Very young. So that means this is all uh, brood. Nurse bees. They're taking care of this. They have to feed and... So what I want to do is I want to sample for mites here because this is where the mites are going to be. Now the question is, is the queen here? I'm just being careful to check and check and check. I've looked a number of times, I don't see the queen. When I shake it in the box, I'll look again at the bees I'm gonna scoop to see if I could see her. Sometimes she's easier in there in a single layer there. But this is the frame I'm gonna sample from. Capped brood all the way, the entire face. Good amount of bees. And there's my queen. She is not marked, but she looks good. So, I have a lot of work to do. I'm not gonna fuss to show you the queen. But I know the queen is on here, so I can take my sample from the other. And I've removed the apivar, which is what I was looking for. So I'm going to put this box back. 
put that frame back. I'm going to put this other frame back. I'm going to take my sample and get done with what I have to do here. I want the bees to come off the inner cover because I don't want to put them inside the feeder. So if I put them on top of the hive, chances are they're going to go down in there. Yep, still there. see no mites. One right there. I know that's propolis on the outside. Zero mites in that sample. 
Maybe up there's one. One mite total. Total of one mite in this sample. That's good. Liking that. All right, let me put this hive back together and go get the other three.